In this video today, we're going to talk about that back and neck pain that wakes you up from sleep with that annoying pins and needles feeling and how to pick a fantastic mattress that fits your sleep style to get your life back. Stay tuned. Dr. Orlando Landrum, a Harvard and Cornell trained MD who specializes in interventional pain, regenerative medicine, and neuromodulation techniques. I've helped thousands of patients be able to get their lives back and eliminate their pain. So for those people that have back pain, finding a mattress is integral to being able to lead a successful life. So what are some of the myths? Some of the myths are the right bed will fix all your back pain, that all beds are the same, and that how you sleep does not affect your pain. All of those things are completely false. The right bed is not gonna make everything gonna go away. It's not gonna make your disbulge better. It's not gonna make sciatica or radicular symptoms in your neck where it goes down your arm and you have pins and needles automatically better. Not all beds are the same, and how you sleep, whether you sleep on your stomach, whether you sleep on your back, whether you sleep on your side, it makes a difference. So sometimes people say, well, you know what? If you put a trial of plywood between the mattress and the box screen, it'll increase firmness and you'll be better. Or if you put egg crate foam on the top, it'll decrease pressure points. And some of those things are true, but why are we making different workarounds and fixes when we should be picking a good mattress from the beginning to give us better pain control? So we're gonna talk a little bit about types of mattresses, inner spring, pocket coils, latex, memory foam. And we're gonna give you a video that can get down and dirty and give you a quick analysis of what that entails. So we're gonna give you a quick down and dirty that's gonna talk about mattress types, pros and cons, what are the different types and why you should pick one versus the other. So the different types are everything from inner spring to pocket coils to memory foam to latex. So inner spring is an old school example. It's connected coils all together, good support, but connection from one side to the other that causes bounce. The second is pocket coils, which are same type of design, good support for stomach and back sleepers and better independence from one side to the other. And the final is latex and memory foam, which are great for pressure point support, good for side sleepers. So now that you have an idea about different types of mattresses. Now we're going to talk about why does this all matter, which is sometimes left out when you look at mattress reviews. This is going to give you an idea about where is the connection between picking a mattress as well as how it affects your pain. So when you look at kind of a spine model, we can see that there's cervical vertebrae, there's thoracic vertebrae, and it comes all the way down to the aspect of the pelvis. There should be natural curves that are present when you take a look at the spine. When those curves aren't right, as you can see in that picture there, just right, too firm, too soft, it can lead to a whole host of things. When we talk to some docs, we talk about just the alignment of the spine. But the reason why it's important is because it can cause compression of nerve roots and the exiting nerve roots where nerves come out from the holes. It can cause compression of the joints and cause compression of vascular structures. And those things are critically important in terms of being able to have good rest and good pain relief. So when we talk about a stomach sleeper, what is the issue? The issue is that you're placing an increased curve in your low back and probably an increased curve in your neck. So those things have consequences. It can be somewhat helpful for degenerative disc disease for a number of reasons, but the thing that you really want to do is decrease those curves. And you can decrease those curves by having a firm mattress that provides support or by placing a pillow at your pelvis to be able to decrease some of that curvature, which is accentuated, causing compression of nerve roots and increased extension of lumbar spinal joints, facet joints, zygopophyseal joints to use a fancy term. And those are things that we want to decrease so that we don't have that soreness when we wake up in the morning. Back sleepers. What's going on with you guys? Well, the major thing is it can actually be able to help with some pressure points, but sometimes how the lower extremities align in relationship to the aspect of the pelvic girdle is what can cause having 
cause you to have some degree of back pain, some things like SI joint dysfunction, and other things that can be problematic. It may help if you have something that's called spondylolisthesis, which is a fancy term for shifts of one bone over the other, which can cause some degree of compression. If you can do back sleeping, it's one of the recommended positions, but not everybody can pull that off. Number three is side sleeping. So this actually is a pretty good position for those people that have a herniated disc, particularly if you can side sleep and bring your knees up with a pull in between. It gives some of the best alignment and some of the best relief. However, for those people that have a shoulder problem, a hip problem, a knee problem, it can sometimes accentuate that pain. And what we need to do is find ways to be able to make that better and find mattresses that are tuned to our bodies appropriately. So this is where we kind of really have the rubber meet the road and start talking about mattresses and how they can be able to provide some degree of benefit. So the first bed we're gonna talk about is the wink bed. Fantastic bed, number 10 on our list. It's great for those individuals who are a little bit bigger. It has different uh, formulations from softer to luxury firm to firm. It's a combination of traditional coils and micro coils. It has an inner spring component like you learned about in the video. It has a soft pillow top. It's great for those people who are back sleepers and those who are stomach sleepers. Number nine is purple. If you see any type of mattress shopping online, you'll come across it. It's one of the most popular beds that talks about having multiple layers of foam and this really new classic top layer that's a hyperelastic polymer that basically is a grid format that allows for pressure point relief. Great bed for those who are side sleepers. Casper. Um, it's a mixture of latex and memory foam and other types of foam. Um, it provides this aspect of a highly targeted support system that really has less firmness at the shoulders and the head, more firmness in the areas of the trunk, a little bit less in the aspect of the legs. It's endorsed by the American Chiropractic Association. It gives good alignment in different areas. It's great for all different types of sleepers. Um, good for side sleepers, good for back sleepers, um, good bed. Number seven is Brooklyn bedding. It is a combination of pocketed coils. Um, it has a mixture of foam on top. It doesn't have a lot of motion transfer, so it doesn't affect someone's partner who's sleeping next to them. Really good bed, great for stomach sleepers. Another one on the list that's phenomenal. Number six is a level sleep bed. It's great for pressure point relief, um, which is really good for those individuals who are side sleepers. So they should take a look into this bed. It may not have enough support for some individuals who are stomach sleepers. Number five is sleep number. So you see it's advertised incredibly frequently, where it's an adjustable control, particularly on one side versus the other, but not necessarily zoned based off of head, neck, trunk, and body parts that are as you go lower into the aspect of the individual person. One of the major challenges that I've had in terms of some degrees of reviews is that it's sometimes difficult to find sheets that can fit this bed. Um, and sometimes the air levels don't change as dramatically as what um, has been purported. Number four is Dream Cloud. It is a bed that has great pressure point control. Hence, the moniker is great for side sleepers. One of the other cool things about it is that you can buy and you can be able to pay over a period of time. It's medium soft, so it may not be all that best uh, recommendation for stomach sleepers, but a phenomenal bed with a multi uh, composition that are layers throughout. Number three is the Helix Sleep Mattress. Now, the cool thing about this mattress is that prior to purchase, it's fully customizable. You take a sleep quiz, it talks about position, what's your body mass index, what's your height, your weight, your size, all those type of things, what you sleep on in terms of your side, your back, your stomach. And this bed is a mixture of foam and coils that's designed specifically for you. It's great for back and stomach sleepers. It can help be able to decrease pain. So those beds from three to 10 are phenomenal beds that you can be able to purchase. As we start getting into two and one, 
These beds are more expensive, but they can be helpful for those individuals who have significant pain. And when you average it out over the lifetime of the bed, very well may be worth it. So number two is IntelliBed. When you compare the pressure mapping between common bed types like Tempur-Pedic, Sleep Number, and Spring, it beats a good number of them out when you look at pressure point relief. So for those individuals who are side sleepers and have pain that's present, it may be a good bed to consider. Number one is rest bed. It's a fancy bed, make no mistake about it. It has the ability not only to be able to control the side, meaning you on one side, your partner on the other, but individual zones within each person's area of the bed. So your head, your neck, your shoulders, why is this a value? Because as many of my patients know, their pain changes sometimes from day to day, sometimes from week to week. And what felt good one day doesn't necessarily feel good the second day. The downside is this expensive bed. However, that expense when it's compared to other treatment options out there, it may very well be worth it. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and also give us a comment on the question of the day. Continue to look out for other videos that really help empower patients and give understanding about technology and treatment options that help patients get their lives back and be able to eliminate their pain. Thank you so much and have a great day.